Hello. Today I want to explain to you the concept of document sets within Abbey FlexiCapture. Document sets give us the ability to combine a group of documents into an overall package that is related to each of those documents and it kind of summarizes all different styles of documents into one package and then we can analyze, review, and process that package accordingly. This is one of those videos where I thought I'd actually show you the end product before we go through the setup of it. And that's what you see on your screen in front of us is the end product here. Um, and what I wanted to explain to you is that we have two different mortgage packages here. And these mortgage packages are combined of multiple different styles of forms. So we have a 1099 income form, we have bank statements, we have tax returns, we have uh, income statements and those sort of things. So. That's what a document set is. It gives us the ability to combine all of these separate documents into one overall package or document set that contains each of those individual documents for us. So this is what it will look like. And you can see what we'll do in our video today is create what we call a summary screen. And the summary screen will give us the ability to summarize the different information from the package in one screen that's easily viewable. And then you can see here, we can pull different details from the documents in the package and just be able to analyze them, compare them, and, and process documents like we would accordingly within Abbey FlexiCapture, where we can perform rules and workflows and those sort of things. So. Um, it's even pretty neat here. We can even double click and dive directly into that specific document within the package or within the document set. Um, and we can kind of study the results accordingly. And then if there are any rule violations, we can quickly jump into those documents and uh, verify those uh, appropriately. So this is a document set summary. Um, and this is kind of the end product. Now let's focus on how we set this up. So now we have a new project created that has some document definitions or templates already created for us. So there's a number of different templates or document definitions. You can see them here. We have eight of them. And we also have just some random documents we've processed. And what you see here is that they're all separate documents. So there's no way to relate them together. So that's what we're going to walk through is kind of the step-by-step -step process to make a document set package for us so that we can analyze these appropriately. What I'm going to do is go to the project menu, go to our document definition, and I'm going to create a new document definition. When we create a new document definition, we tell it a number of different properties. We can first obviously provide a sample as needed, and the more important property here to set is this document set. Um, this document set gives us the ability to tell what documents are related in a given package or a specific document set. In this case, I want all of these documents to be selected because they all are relevant to the uh, mortgage package or mortgage document set that we have here. Now, the important part to understand is that all of these separate document definitions are pre-created. That's not what we're showing on this demo. What we're showing on this demo is how we combine all these different templates and document definitions into one. If you recall in the in the first summary version of, of this video, we showed you the summary tab that is displayed. And that's what this checkbox here gives us the ability to have a summary page before we dive into each of those documents. So what I'm gonna do is select that and hit next. Of course, we wanna give it a name. In this case, this will be our mortgage document set. And then we will finish. And so what we've done now is we've created a document definition that is linking all of these things. Um, you can see now I have a summary section as part of the document structure. And then, of course, I see all of our different document definitions, um, and I can see the fields relative to them. Just to kind of give you an exploration of some of the new features here is that we now have the ability to add a link to additional documents. So if I was to add a brand new document definition, I would be able to select this linking window and tell it that it's related to this package. So if I was to add a new document style or document type, I could link it back to this summary here. Um, so this is given the ability to link all of these things. Now we can create a summary tab and the preview of that tab is actually down here in the data form. And so for example, if I wanted to add a field, I can create a field and tell it to link to an existing field. From here, it's gonna show me all of my different document type or definitions. And I can tell the software where to grab and what data to grab off of what documents. So maybe I wanna show the name from the 1099 form. Um, you can see I have different settings here and properties that load up. I can um, provide a link to the name on another form. 
uh, just for fun, maybe we'll put it here on the W2. So, and you can see, we can name it and we have other properties associated with it, okay? So this creates us the summary tab and it also links those documents together. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna publish it. And what I will do is I'm actually gonna create a new batch and I'm going to load the images here that are relative. And I have just 17 different styles of documents for a given mortgage document set. I'm gonna go ahead and upload those. And what we're gonna see here is the software combining them here on the backside. Now that these documents have been processed, we can see that we've processed multiple different sets of documents, which then are combined into two different mortgage document sets or packages of the documents. Of course, I can click here and you can see here that I have my summary tab. And then of course I have my other relative um, documents here as well. And as I double click, I can jump into this. Now this summary tab is 100% customizable. It's really up to you on how you want that to look or what you want it to contain but it is obviously just meant to be a quick introduction to the package and then of course if there are any rule violations and things like that we can obviously put that on the summary and then people can work them accordingly so this is a very neat way for us to combine different styles of documents into one overall package and then process those downstream as they kind of flow with each other so we don't lose them and they kind of stick together as the same uh, document package or document set there so a very nice concept that we want to use in business so that we don't lose documents and we process them all in the same way at the same time with the same people and the same information on the documents. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, we'd love to be of service to you. Thank you so much.